Hi YouTubers, today I'm uh, gonna show you how to fix the system battery is uh, very slow after replacing the battery on the MacBook Air 13 inch. So if it happens to you that you replace the battery on your MacBook and it start like running very very slow, the problem could be either the battery you installed the wrong battery on your computer or the boot volume is too full. So today I'm going to show you the problem of the battery and later on we, I'm going to make another video about how to clean the boot volume. Okay, so uh, this is the, the MacBook Air. Actually, I already replaced the battery on it. And uh, after I replaced the battery, the system is like take a long time to load and to show the, the top menu on the screen. So what I'm going to do I will I already have the good battery here they will show you the difference uh, after I take uh, I open this one so I already took the screws off from the back they are very easy we have like uh, the, on the screws we have uh, 10 screws right here just two of them they are uh, longer than the other ones and the two longer uh, longer ones they come right here so make sure to remember, don't put the wrong screw in the wrong spot. So and now I'm just going to remove the back cover. And this is the battery. Actually this is the battery I replaced before and it gives me that problem. So the difference between these two, the two batteries is this one. If you come and if you check the model number, right here this model number is a1377 so this is the battery i ordered all i ordered online and after i got that problem i have to get another battery which is the number is a1405 a1405 so actually for the macbook air the 13 inch one this is the correct battery for it, the 14, the A1405. So make sure when you order the battery, make sure to order the right one because uh, mostly it happens that the system starts running slow if you put the wrong battery for some reason. So now I'm gonna just open the screws here. Make sure to use the, uh, the right screwdriver. Don't strip the screws. The battery has four screws. It has two here in these corners. One, two, and it has one, two, and it has one screw in the in the middle. So I already took uh, one off. This is the second one. It's longer. Actually, there are three screws. The one in the middle, the ones are on the top. They are longer. So make sure don't mix them also. So here are the screws, make sure the screws here, they are uh, organized, make sure don't put the wrong screw in the wrong spot. So pay attention that this, there are like two small screws, these ones they come here in the bottom side. And the one in the middle and the two other ones in the inside, they are longer. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove disconnect the battery so the battery has like small plastic here just pull it pull it back don't lift it up just pull it back this way okay it's disconnected and once it disconnect take the wrong battery and put it aside and we put the correct battery so this is the correct battery It's connected. So now I'm going to put the screws back.
Okay, I put all the screws back, so now I'm just gonna close the back cover and I will put the two long screws first here. They are on the next to the black side on the black book here. Make sure you use the right screwdriver. So this is the last screw and voila so now I'm just gonna open the computer and turn it on Okay, so the computer is back to his uh, computer is back to his normal uh, to his normal uh, running. Actually, when with the other battery, the the computer took like maybe ten to fifteen minutes to just uh, go to the to the main menu which is not good so now i think the problem is fixed the computer is already start so everything should be fine there will yeah, that's all so i uh, i recommend that you replace the battery on the computer and make sure it's the right battery that was ali from icemark thank you